pattern of horn antennas. So this is how an antenna, which is pyramidal horn antenna, looks like. So this is pyramidal horn antenna. Right. So for finding the radiation pattern, prior to doing anything else, we need to fire the klystron. For firing the klystron, as you are aware of, keep the repeller voltage in maximum position, beam voltage in minimum position. And the repeller voltage should come out to be around 240 volts. The beam current should be in the range of 10 to 15 milliamps. And beam voltage should be nearly around 200 or 240. So when that is done, we need to vary the repeller voltage so that we will get an output here. Okay. So to begin with, we will connect the crystal detector in this particular position. And we will find the dip frequency as well. Then. So that's the first step. After that, to find the radiation pattern, we'll be connecting the transmitting horn antenna on one end, and on the other end, we'll be connecting the receiving horn antenna. And receiving horn antenna, in turn, will be getting the connecting the crystal detector. So students, let me reiterate. In the beginning, we'll be connecting the crystal detector here, get the maximum output voltage, and also find the frequency as usual. Then connect the transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna as we have set up. Then for finding the radiation pattern, we need to first keep the antenna, both the transmitter and the receiver in perfect alignment, that is zero degree. You can notice that the voltage what is coming on the CRO is maximum. Then as the table goes like this, so we have to find the output voltage at 5 degree to the left and 5 degree to the right and so on. So to begin with we can do something like 5 degree, 10 degree, 15 degree, 20 degree and 25 on the left side and the same process can be repeated for right hand side also. I can show you for example I am shifting the degree you can notice the as of now it is in zero degree alignment and the voltage what is coming is maximum and now let me move the antenna 5 degree to the right side. I am sure you can notice it is moved to 5 degree to the right side. 5 degree to the right side and we can also observe that the voltage has got reduced. Now we will move on varying. You can take the reading something like for 10 degree on the right side what is the voltage? 15 degree you can uh, very clearly notice on the CRO that the voltage is decreasing. This is for 20 degree on the right side. This is for let us say 25 degree on the right side. You can notice that there is a clear decrease in the voltage as and when we increase the angle. So if you are clear with it, we can take the similar readings on the left side also. To the left side of the antenna setup, say 5 degree, the voltage, the 10 degree and 15 degree, 20 degree, 25 degree, so on and so forth. And you can observe that the voltage which was maximum at 0 degree, now when we increase the angle, correspondingly it has got reduced. So students, uh, with this we can uh, understand how the procedure of finding the radiation pattern goes. So at zero degree alignment you should get the maximum voltage and as and when you vary the angle on the right side or on the left side the voltage should reduce. So accordingly you need to take these readings. The output voltage on the left side the corresponding values on the right side the corresponding values. So by uh, filling all these entries you can find out the other voltage and uh, values in decibels and hence you can also find the radiation pattern. Notice that this particular setup we have done it in horizontal plane. That means to say both the antennas are on the horizontal plane. Okay. So we need to repeat the same procedure on vertical plane. So this is in the horizontal direction. This is the horizontal direction. This is the vertical direction. If you do the procedure for this, we will find theta h after you plot the graph. And uh, right. So, 
So for finding the vertical plane, the procedure is slightly different. So let us demonstrate that as well. So instead of directly connecting the horn antenna in the horizontal plane, what we shall do at the transmitting end is we will connect an antenna through what is called as a twist. This twist converts the horizontal plane, the horizontal plane into the vertical plane. I hope you can notice that the horizontal plane is getting converted into vertical. So the antenna on the transmitting end will be connected in vertical and we will use the twist only at the transmitting end. At the receiving end, the antenna is just to be tinted so that even that will be in the vertical position. So same procedure as I had explained in the previous uh, uh, portion of horizontal, you need to say, do the same thing for vertical position as well.